Tonight, a growing problem across the country and a major issue for TSA officers here at Charlotte Douglas. Yeah, we're talking about finding guns and other dangerous weapons at checkpoints dozens of times this year alone. The defenders, Mark Boyle, got exclusive access to the evidence found and asked, why are the numbers going up? Found at the checkpoint here in Charlotte, massive blades, fireworks, tons of knives, hundreds of pocket knives. All of this was collected here over the past just few days. How about this cane with a weapon inside? The TSA says its main goal is keep you and your family safe this summer. It happens more often than you think. Passengers knowingly or mistakenly bringing loaded guns to the airport. Guns that are discovered at the screening checkpoint. Well, it's certainly higher than we'd like. We had 53 uh, for all of last year, and we're on pace to exceed that slightly. This past March, TSA caught these three people, Shane Derry, Paula Chipman, and Lisa Blaylock, on the same day in separate incidents. The vast majority of the guns that we do find here at Charlotte are, in fact, loaded. NBC Charlotte got exclusive access to some of what's been taken into evidence. And it's not just guns. Check out these weapons from knives and swords to fireworks and what looks like a pipe bomb. Knives are not allowed through the checkpoint. Someone tried to bring this through the checkpoint here. And individuals will bring these things thinking they can get on the plane with them. So why are more people trying to bring weapons on their flights? Partly that's a consequence of passenger volume. You know, this is an extremely popular airport. Uh, passenger volumes at an all time high. So I think it's mainly a symptom of that. TSA says the legal method of traveling with a firearm is to bring it in as checked baggage. Have the firearm unloaded, packed in a hard side case, locked and packed separately from the ammunition. Then the firearm must be taken to the airline check in counter. So most would know this knife and batarang would be given the big no to bring on board planes, but obviously someone didn't realize that. If you still have questions about what you can bring in your carry-on through the TSA checkpoint, just go to TSA.gov. All of your answers can be found right there online. I'm Mark Boyle reporting at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport, NBC Charlotte.